Hey friends, Don Wilson here uh, with a disc that you will all know and love, uh, Gas Shell Bombardment, the only recording made during World War I. But um, uh, this was produced for quite some time and, um, you know, it's just like buses, as they say, that uh, you can wait forever and not find one and then all of a sudden two show up at the same time. Um, this one was loaned to me uh, very generously by uh, Garrett Jeffer, um, and uh, this other one I had uh, purchased right around the same time. But this is a unique opportunity to get to look at two. Uh, one which is uh, clearly a very old, and well they're both very old, but one is much older than the other. And um, I want to show you a few of those details. Um, if we take a look at this one, for example, we can notice a few things that stand right out. Uh, those really bright colors in the label. The wording at the top, historical record. See British record catalog. And then down at the bottom, it specifies uh, 78 RPM. Now through the 78 RPM uh, era, it was pretty common for HMV to say either 78 or 80 RPM. Uh, but the early discs, I don't believe, specify that. Uh, hopefully someone will correct me if I'm wrong. But the earlier ones, I think that it was just assumed that they were 78 RPM. and um, You know, people aren't going to know if it's a couple RPMs off anyway. So if we look at this label, uh, we can see that um, the artwork would suggest that this is a much older label. Uh, says nothing about it being a historical record, and it just says that this is the actual recording, etc., etc., and uh, again, no mention of the speed. A couple other interesting things to note, that this one, which, you know, I'm merely assuming to be older, I feel pretty confident about that, but, um, well, anyway. If uh, we look closely, we can see that the pressing quality of this one is not as good. Like, for example, right here, we can see that there is a flaw and uh, there is a little bumpiness, as we can see in there. Uh, this record is in excellent condition, uh, but there are these pressing flaws that are present, as was common uh, in the teens. Uh, other thing to notice. Uh, if we take a look at this lead-out groove, that's just outside of the rest of the grooves, okay? The, uh, the size of the matrix numbers. And also, if we take a look at the, uh, the size of the dead wax uh, just before the lead-in area, if you notice all those details. Now, if we take a look at uh, what I believe is the newer copy, it has a smaller uh, dead wax area before lead-in. Uh, this width is the same. Uh, the disc is just ever so slightly smaller. And uh, most prominent that this, uh, that lead-out area that we saw has really expertly been filled look at that. I mean, you can just see that just outside of the uh, the grooves for the playing area. Uh, somebody filled that in, and that wasn't some average Joe. That was uh, that was a real expert, some sort of a jeweler or uh, high-level craftsperson did that. A uh, really fantastic detail. And instead, it was replaced with um, eccentric uh, lead-out grooves, as you can see. Matrix numbers are much smaller. They look uh, a little bit nicer. And then the final detail that I'd like to point out is that if we take a look at the back, this one uh, very nicely has pressed HMV in the full size. And if we take a look at the other one, what do we see here? We see the seven inch uh, recording angel that was even on some uh, late Berliners, I believe. 
So um, the virtue of the fact that they were using the 7-inch uh, the recording angel, uh, I'm quite confident that this is a much older pressing. Oh, there is one final detail, and uh, that is the weight. Uh, not something that I can really easily show you, and I'm not sure that there's much of a visible difference in thickness. Uh, so this uh, newer pressing uh, weighs in at about 300 grams, and I don't know if you can see it. It is, um, well, could be my imagination, but uh, it appears slightly thicker. Uh, imagination aside, this one uh, definitively weighs approximately 480 grams. Uh, that is significantly heavier. Again, that was 300 grams for this guy, uh, 300 grams for this guy, and 480 for this one, so um, two-thirds heavier. Uh, they are both identical recordings. Uh, I played them both, and uh, both in terms of fidelity, uh, you know, I don't believe that there was any enhancements made to the recording or any changes to the actual uh, grooves themselves, nor have I put it under microscope to see if the waveforms are identical, but I'm reasonably confident that they are the same recordings. Uh, just some minor changes in the pressings, and if you're looking for a uh, newer versus older or older versus newer, uh, those are the details I have for you, and thank you very much for watching.